So in this case, we are going to consider some of the applications of our 2D uh, trigonometry as we have this one from our grade 10 mathematics. We have been working with the 2D. Uh, now in our grade 11, we just need to apply what we have uh, done before. That is the use of our trigonometrical ratios in answering of the questions, Pythagoras theorem, and so on. So there is a question that we are given that a man standing at point C, all right? So according to the information that you're given, there is a man that is uh, standing at what? At point C, which is here. A man is standing at point C. That's where the man is looks up at an angle of 35 degrees to the top, which is at A. So from this horizontal view, the man looks up at an angle of 35 degrees to see what is at point A, uh, which is the top of the cliff, AB. So AB is the cliff where A is the top, okay? So from the given information, a, B, then we are told that 150 meters away from him, the cliff A, B is 150 meters away from the man. Okay, no problem. So from that, he turns around to walk 300 meters in the opposite direction, away from A, B. At an angle of inclination of what? 15 degrees. As he is going this other side on the opposite direction at an angle of 15 degrees from that horizontal view that we are given. All right? To point C. So that angle of uh, inclination is at point C. Then we are told that A, B, C, and D are in the same vertical plane. Calculate to the nearest meter the distance between A and D. To the nearest meter, the distance between A and D. The distance between A and D. So how can we answer this type of a question? AD, this is what we need. So they will try by all means to give us confusing diagrams. But what we need is to figure out proper information that can be used. In a triangle ADC, we are limited there because we just have one side. Nothing much. So how can we find AD from there? All right, let's start with this angle C. In the triangle ACD, which is angle ACD, we know that angles on a straight line, they add up to 180 degrees, okay? So ACD uh, can be calculated, angles in a triangle, 180 degrees minus the two angles that are on a straight line, the 35 degrees and the 15 degrees, okay? No problem. You have got 130 degrees as this angle ACD. But with this angle, how is it going to help us? There is only one side and an angle. So guys, we can see that we are still limited. At least in triangle ACD, we must have another side. What about this side AC? Can we calculate that? From triangle ABC, it is a right-angled triangle, so we can find the side or the length AC. As long as there is a length and a side, I mean length and an angle, there is length, there is an angle. You can find the second side, guys, using your trigonometrical ratios. So according to the angle of 35 degrees in triangle what? ABC. According to this 35 degrees, BC, the given side is what? The adjacent. Remember these two, they are adjacent to each other. 
AC being the hypotenuse, the one that faces the 90 degrees. We have hypotenuse. Which ratio? There is only one ratio. Which uses adjacent and hypotenuse at the same time from our soccer tower. So meaning to say adjacent hypotenuse from what? A cos. That is a cos of the angle. 35 degrees is equal to what? Adjacent over hypotenuse from this ratio. What is our adjacent? 150. The hypotenuse, the side that we are supposed to calculate AC. So that's AC was going to be calculated from that. All right. Let us just uh, cross multiply. Uh, try to figure out because the AC is in the denominator. So that was going to be AC times the cos of 35 degrees, which is 1 times 150, that's 150. So divide by the cos of 35 degrees uh, both sides, all right? So that was going to give us the length of AC. You can as well store the values so that you've got exact answers. Remember, I told you, you can have a two decimal place. You can store your values, all right? 150 over cos 35 degrees, okay? Like this. So that's 183,12. If we round off to two decimal places, of which we can store it at A, the exact value. But uh, to two decimal places, that's 183,12. In meters, all right? Let's see the meters there. We are given our units in what? In meters. So we have got the length of AC. All right? We are going to store this one in what? In A. The AC that we calculated is here on our diagram. This is from A to C. 183,12 meters. So now... AD is easier for us to determine because there is triangle ACD where there is 130 as an included angle. Remember, cosine root given two sides and an included angle. The third side can be calculated, which is our AD. So if we know the formula A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC, the cos of A, knowing that the B and the C are the sides creating the angle that is our included angle, we can formulate our formula for what? AD. So AD is equal to what? The sides creating the angle B and C, that's AC. So you're going to have AC squared and what? CD. That's C D squared minus two times the product. Uh, that's the product here of A C uh, C D times the cos of the angle opposite to what we are calculating or the included angle. What is our included angle? The angle at what? At C. Just like that. So that's from our cosine rule. Just like that. Sides creating the angle. So AC, we calculated this, uh, 183,12. But I'm just going to use the exact value. Remember, we stored this one. Uh, AD, I mean, uh, CD, this one, from C to D, that's 300. All right, minus two times the what? The two sides that we had before. So that's uh, two times 183,12 times 300 times the cost of the included angle. From our diagram, the angle between the two given sides, which is uh, 130 degrees. So that was going to give us uh, AD squared. All right. So remember, we had to store these values. I'm going to use exact values. This is A. This is A. So on my calculator, I'm going to have RECO A. So that's RECO A squared. All right, A squared plus 300 squared, okay? Minus, just going to open the bracket. This one is a product of these. So that's two times, we recall A, so that's recall A times 300 times the sign, I mean, the cost there, cost of what? 130, cost of 130, like this. 
So that was going to give us this value. Then we determine the square root of that. So that's 194, 154, 4, uh, according to this. All right, they're just, just ending there. So to find AD, introduce what? The square root. So that's the square root of what we are seeing there. So AD was going to be what? The square root of this uh, from our calculator, the square root of the answer is what? 440,629 uh, and so on and so on. 440,629 and so on. But the question was, the length that we need or the distance there must be calculated to the nearest meter. To the nearest meter, to the nearest the unit that you are given, because this length is in meters. So if we say to the nearest, the unit that is already given there, it means to the nearest whole number. If you have got C, B as a 5,25 centimeters, then they say to the nearest centimeter, the unit that is already represented there, it means to the nearest whole number. So to the nearest meter, and these units are in meters, they simply say to the nearest whole number. So if we are to round off to the nearest whole number, what's going to happen? The 6 is going to change, right? 6 is greater than what? It's greater than 5. So it's going to change the, uh, the 0 into a 1. So that's 441 uh, meters to the nearest meter, to the nearest whole number answer the question so these are the typical questions that you'll be given application of our 2d the use of our trigonometrical ratios from our grade 10 mathematics remember we worked with our trigonometrical ratios where there is a right angled triangle but in acd that's a non-right angled triangle so we are back to the cosine rule or the sine rule when you're calculating what the length of the given size. So that's, 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 that's how we answer these questions. Do revise as many questions as you can.